The School of Chemistry at Cardiff University has always had a very good tradition in catalysis research and that is why the Cardiff Catalysis Institute has now been established to bring many of these activities together under one umbrella. Some reactions will happen but take a very long time to occur. You put a catalyst in the reaction and it makes the reaction occur on a usable time scale. Imagine you would like to go from Madrid in Spain to Paris and France. You will face the problem to overcome the Pyrenees mountains. Catalysis will be like taking a tunnel rather than trying to pass it over the top. So your journey will be faster, easier and energetically more efficient. Our body is full of catalysts, natural catalysts called enzymes and without them life would not be possible. An important point of catalysis is that the catalyst doesn't change after the reaction and you can recover it and reduce it. Around 80 to 90 percent of our chemicals are all produced using catalysts. The petrol that you use in your car has been taken from crude oil, which is a very viscous material. Margarines, these are produced by hydrogenation catalysis. Or plastics that we use, all produced using polymerization catalysts. My PhD concerns the water gas shift reaction, which takes carbon monoxide and water and creates hydrogen and carbon dioxide. The application of my research is to create really clean, pure sources of hydrogen for uh, fuel cells. Reducing the reliance on platinum group metals in three-way catalytic converters. Platinum is a very intensively mined metal. It's very expensive, very environmentally unfriendly. So just by enhancing their activity, hopefully we can reduce the dependence on them. We're interested in the fundamental reactions that go on when a molecule arrives at a catalyst surface. And it's the surface that's important. All the reactions go on at the surface. And so we try to study those reactions in as close a detail as possible. We know that from the surface science experiments that the absorption and reaction of molecules on surfaces is important in heterogeneous catalysis. And we can build computer models of these that use the ideas of quantum chemistry to work out exactly where all the electrons are and the atoms are in the system and how they should find the lowest energy structure. One of the techniques that we use is an atomic microscope and that allows us to study molecule by molecule what happens on the surface and so we can follow individual steps in a reaction. This is some of the equipment we would actually use for testing our catalysts and really it's designed as a small chemical plant. So we can test our catalysts under controlled conditions we have a furnace and inside the furnace we have a tube. In the middle of that tube then we have our catalyst. And one of the metals that we're using a lot more now is gold. It was realised about 20 years ago that gold is much more reactive when it's partitioned into very small particles. If I was to take this wedding ring and divide it just down to a few atoms, it would be really, really, really reactive. And that's the key discovery, to make it into a nano form. Here on screen is a gold 13 particle which is an example of a very small gold particle. And using the computers, we wanted to see what happened to the size and the geometry of this particle over time. The gold particle starts as a highly ordered structure, and over time it adjusts and changes, and it indicates it's very flexible. So the future for catalysis research is really to continually improve our efficient use of raw materials, and to also to move into things like the energy industry, where we use catalysts for things like the hydrogen fuel cells. People talk about the hydrogen economy. And that depends on a platinum fuel cell, which is basically a catalyst to convert hydrogen to water, giving us clean energy. So many processes are still run as stoichiometric processes, which means that they create as much or more waste than they do products. And by introducing a catalyst, we can usually cut down the amount of waste, increase the amount of product dramatically, which has huge benefits to the environment. Catalysis will always be very central to chemical research. The Catalysis Institute, we hope, will grow and include many more areas, such as biocatalysis. Catalysis is essential for the way in which we will live our lives in the future. And we're at the heart of this, trying to find out new catalysts and understand how they work, how we can improve them, and translate these into society.